What is up, So Hills kids? How are you guys doing today? I'm down here in my recording room. I hope you guys are doing great, whether you're four, five, six all stars or you just stumbled on in here. I'm glad you're here and I hope you guys are doing great. So, I had to talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, so, here's the thing uh, I've got this friend who kind of wants to hear uh, about who Jesus is, but I'm really scared to tell him. You see, uh, he he doesn't really know. He hasn't really been to church. Um, and I just went to see OI Superstar, and they, they were talking about how we should share um, our faith with our friends. And, and they, they said we can use the things we're good at, but, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure about it. Um, but um, I was just kind of, like, hiding in the room a little bit. I thought I'll go record the Bible study uh, video for Sunday instead of going and talking with this friend. But uh, we're going to dive into today's Bible story, so let's check that out. All right, guys, so today's Bible story is found in Numbers 13. It talks about Moses and the Israelites, and it's actually really kind of cool. So um, it's talking about how uh, the Lord had promised the Israelites this land, right? It's called, well, the promised land, and they were going to go into it. It's going to have all of these great things, um, and Moses sent some people to go check it out. And let's let's just dive in and read it. So it says, The Lord said to Moses, Send out men to explore the land of Canaan, the land I am giving to the Israelites. Send one leader from each of the twelve ancestral tribes. So, God tells Moses to send people into the land and explore it, right? And he sends twelve people. And notice how he says in verse 2, uh, Go to the land of Canaan, the land I am giving to the Israelites. He said, I'm going to give it to you guys, so go check it out. And it says, after exploring the land for 40 days, the men returned to Moses, Aaron, and the whole community of Israel, um, and they reported to the whole community what they had seen. And they said, uh, we entered the land uh, you sent us to and explored it, and it's bountiful. It's got a ton of stuff. So, great, we're off to a good start. It goes downhill from here. It says, but the people living there are powerful, and their towns are large and fortified. We even saw giants there. Wow, that doesn't sound pretty. Um... And so these guys were reporting bad things about the land God had promised them. And it says, Caleb tried to quiet the people as they stood before Moses. Caleb was one of the 12 people sent. Uh, and he says, let's go at once and take the land. He said, we can certainly conquer it. You see, Caleb has faith. He trusts what God has said. But the other men who had explored the land with him disagreed. We can't go up against them. They're stronger than we are. So they spread this bad report in the land among the Israelites. So... Not the best. You see, God called Moses to send people in um, to encourage the people that they could take the land of Canaan. Instead, they were afraid. They saw something that was scary, and it was put up against them, and they did not have faith that God would provide. They didn't trust that um, God would do what he said he would, and there were consequences, guys. The people of Israel had to wander for 40 years out in the wilderness because they did not trust God. They were afraid of people and things after God had done so many things for them, like to deliver them from uh, Egypt and, and help them part. Uh, he parted the Red Sea for them and uh, he gave them food in the wilderness. God had done all of these things and the people still did not trust. You know, that kind of reminds me of Finding Nemo. You remember where Dory tells uh, Marlin that they need to swim through uh, the canyon that looks scary and, and, and uncertain, but Marlin convinces her to go above, that it looks easier, like it'll be an easier way out, and they end up getting trapped in the jellyfish. That's kind of how life is for us. You see, we're called to, uh, you know, do hard things, to do scary things, to step up for God. And instead, we think it'll be easier to maybe sit back, be quiet, do what we want to do, do what'll make us feel better. And you know what, guys? That kind of sounds like what I need to do with my friend. You see, we're all called to do these big things, these, these cool things for God, and some of them may be scary. Maybe it is talk to a friend like I need to do about who Jesus is. Maybe it's um, standing up for a bully um, to uh, help one of your friends who is getting picked on or made fun of, right? Maybe it's talking to your parents about something that you did that you know you shouldn't have um, and letting them know, even if it may mean facing consequences. Maybe it's making a big choice by trusting Jesus and following him. You see, guys, there's a lot of choices in our life that God calls us to make that are hard, that are scary, that may end up facing consequences, right? But the reality is when we trust God and when we follow him, 
we can learn so much more. And ultimately, God sent his son Jesus and the Holy Spirit to help us with that. So when we trust them and ask them into our lives, we are able to do so many big things. So thank you guys for watching. I have a conversation to go have. If you want to watch more of the Bible story, you can watch it after this. And if not, I will see you guys next week. Bye. Moses and the Israelites made their way toward the promised land of Canaan. God told Moses to send men to scout out the land. So Moses chose one leader from each family tribe. He told them to see what the land was like and whether the people living there were strong or weak, many or few. So the 12 scouts went into the land and traveled around for 40 days. They cut down a cluster of grapes that was so big, it took two men to carry it on a pole. Then they went back to tell Moses and the other Israelites what they saw. The land is good. It is flowing with milk and honey, they said. But the people who live there are strong, and the cities they live in are large and well protected. Then Caleb, one of the men sent to scout out the land, spoke up. We must go up and take possession of the land. We can certainly conquer it with God's help. One other scout, Joshua, agreed with Caleb. But the other scouts disagreed. We can't go up against the people. They are stronger than we are. We look like grasshoppers compared to them. The Israelites were afraid, and they cried all night. They accused Moses of bringing them to Canaan to die. The people said, Let's choose a new leader and go back to Egypt. Joshua and Caleb said, the land we explored is extremely good land. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will give it to us. Don't be afraid of the people living in the land. God is with us. While the people talked, God came down to talk to Moses. How long will these people not trust me? God asked. God threatened to destroy all the people, but Moses urged God to forgive them. Moses reminded God that he is patient, loving, and forgiving. God said, Since you asked, I will forgive them, but no one who complained against me will get to see the promised land. God said the Israelites would wander in the wilderness and would not enter the promised land. Only Joshua, Caleb, and the Israelites' children would one day enter the land. The Israelites did not trust God. They rebelled against him. Jesus trusted God perfectly. He came into the world to take the punishment we deserve for our own rebellion against God. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sins and invites us into his kingdom forever.